He is from New York. New York. He is uh, gorgeous Gregory. We don't have to tell him. You, yes, generational, once in a lifetime. Here he is, uh, his opponent. He is from right here in Altoona, Pennsylvania. He is Jimmy, the high flying hippie. There you are, man. This is his town, Altoona, and uh, I don't imagine a guy from Altoona takes kindly. To a guy like Gorgeous Gregory stepping into his town. Not just Altoona. I think it's pretty much anywhere. He, he's going to be universally hated. Do you think he's even liked in New York City? I bet he's not. I don't know. This, this guy never shuts up. Such a nice gesture. Yeah. What an idiot. He's such a gorgeous idiot. <laughs> wow. Jimmy coming out firing on gorgeous Gregory. Grabs him in a waist lock. There it is with that uh, sort of uh, shuffle style mare that he takes him down with. And he is tying up Gregory in a submission. We might get a, we might get a submission right here. Now, you've been in the ring here with Gorgeous Gregory. Tell us what a strategy is for getting a win over a guy like Gorgeous Gregory. You just got to get him to shut up. Smack him in the mouth a couple times. But, you know, I like what Jimmy's doing here. Jimmy, the, the wily veteran, he loves to try uh, to make these younger wrestlers try to out-wrestle him. And that's tough. That and is that really is tough. There's not many guys around that know their way around the ring better than Jimmy the High Flying Hippie. And, and there's a reason for that. It's called experience. And people always want to talk about his flying, but, you know, to me, his real strength is on the ground. He can control a match uh, on the ground like few guys can. You know, you think of Jimmy the Hippie, you think of maybe Braden Elliott. I mean, these guys can really get a guy down on the ground and uh, teach him a lesson. Yeah. Tell you another young man that I would add to that list, believe it or not, is Daniel Exotic. He's so quick. I mean, he can definitely get it done on the ground, but uh, to me, when I see Daniel Exotic, That's I see speed. a quick guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's so quick. Tough to handle. I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Uh, you're getting great first-time match here between Jimmy the High Flying Hippie and Gorgeous Gregory, and to this point, Gorgeous Gregory has no answer for what's happening to him. No! No! Yeah, Jimmy's really putting his experience on display here tonight in this wrestling match. He's, and, it, you know... We, we talk about the way he talks. You know, that, he talks all the time. But if what you really, in my opinion, if I was coaching a guy to fight um, Gorgeous Gregory, the thing that I'm doing is I don't want to allow separation. Because if he can get those hands going, they're dangerous. Yes. I, I, Train I, I boxer. Can, I can see what you're saying there. That's, that's a sound strategy. Keep him in close, and that Jimmy has done that to this point and caught him hard in the back of the head with that enziguri. That could have been a knockout blow. Let's see what happens. Set him up for that Arabian press. We've seen him hit it many times. He got him. He got all of it. That could be it. Two. No. Wow, that was close. Yeah, really close. Man, oh, man. What do you do now if you're Gorgeous Gregory? Everything you've tried has not worked. Jimmy has dominated this match. I was going to say, at this point, it doesn't seem like Gorgeous Gregory's been able to try a whole lot. Oh, he grabbed a handful of hair, threw him into the ropes, picks him up. Big style flapjack. And there's those punches. There's those dangerous, dangerous punches from the trained boxer, Gorgeous Gregory. I'm a once in a lifetime athlete. And he caught him with a flat of the foot right in the spine. Do you think he was, do you think he ever was actually in a boxing match? Though? I know for a fact he was. He let people punch him in the face? Uh, well, I don't think he allowed people to punch him in the face. I've heard he's pretty quick. Okay. That Floyd Mayweather style of just uh, shifty to the side, not let people punch in the face is a pretty good strategy. Look. Look at the arrogance. That's what I want to talk about. 
What an arrogant, pompous ass. You know, we say that, but at the end of the day, he's kind of on a streak here. I'm so good. No one's been able to figure I'm out the so formula yet to get this guy down on the mat I for a count of three. I cannot be touched. There he is, grounding. Oh. Jimmy the Hippie. Oh, my God, you can hear those shots from here, right in the middle of the back. Wow, look at the power. Jimmy the Hippie trying to shift his weight, unable to stop that suplex. A lot of leverage, a lot of technique, able to get Jimmy the Hippie over, and he is smothering Jimmy the Hippie right now. You know, say what you want about Gorgeous Gregory, but this is an impressive effort to come back from where he started to to where he is right now. Right? I agree fully. I'll tell you what. We're in the middle of quite a match right now. Yeah. And now, and now it's going to become, can Jimmy come back from this? All it takes is one mistake. When you're in the ring with a guy like Jimmy the Hippie, you make one mistake and, and it, the lights could be turned out. Uh, trust me, I understand. Here we go. What a match to kick off the show tonight. Top tier talent, Jimmy the Hippie and Gorgeous Gregory. Whoa! That's what they call a receipt in the business there. What a chop. Absolutely. And looking over the, the uh, tournament coming up, Kato, this is all, we won't see this match in this tournament unless these two men are in the finals. Could very well happen. I mean, both guys are looking really sharp right now. You know, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy was stopped in sort of a devious way, but uh, I, one thing we've learned, you can't count a guy like Jimmy the Hippie out. He's always looking for an opening, always looking for a chance to get back into it. And uh, I mean, we looked right at you pulling his hair. He's saying he didn't pull his hair, but we could see it right in front of us. And there's those hands, man. Those where you don't want to be. Oh, there you go. He made a mistake. Could this be the opening Jimmy the Hippie's been looking for? No, not yet. Oh, my God. He leveled him with that clothesline. Good God almighty. What a clothesline. That is a life-changing experience for gorgeous Gregory. He clobbered him with that line. Straight head bump right to the face. Jimmy the Hippie starting to build some momentum. Catches him up. Reverse Atomic. Caught him a little low. I think that might have been life-changing for Gorgeous Gregory, too. Jimmy the Hippie starting to build momentum, getting to be where he needs to be. Balls it up with a headbutt in the guts. Picks him up. Got him up. Cart reels through. Up top, this could be the end right here. Jimmy on the top rope. Swanton, that's what he beats people with. Let's go. One, two. Oh, my God, he kicked out. Can you believe it? Wow. How many matches have you seen Jimmy the Hippie win with that? Tell you what, he's got to keep his foot on the gas, so get out there after him. Oh, this is getting physical. This is getting rough now. Headbutt right in the face. Both guys are sort of fighting. Oh, he chops. Delivering knees. Jimmy, get in there. Oh, did he beat it? He, I think he beat him. I think he beats up count. I think he did too. Oh, my God. Did he ever just catch gorgeous Gregory? Good grief, Gregory might be out. Hey, can we get some help out here? These guys are, uh... Come on, guys. Come on, let's... All right, we got the uh, rockers really out here. These guys out here. Both guys, all right, we got some control on this. That's what, uh... That's what I like. That's good. Here we go. We got some control. I don't like those guys either. Come on, hey, come on, you're out here. Come on. You get control of this. Come on now, hey, let's stop. 
Hey, let's get some control, Chris. Get some control in there. Come on. Hey, let's 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 uh let's go to break. Let's go to break. Come on, let's get get it.